Hi everyone, Darren Wilson here and welcome to another edition of Monday's Moment of Fruit. Now today I want to talk to you about leaving a legacy. Now one thing that is certain of everybody in life is that we are all going to die. That is a reality check. So now with this newfound reality check, the question now is how do you want to be remembered? What do you want people to think about when your name is mentioned? Well, that there is a question of legacy. Now, to answer this question, we first have to define what legacy is. And legacy in my definition is this. Legacy is the set of beliefs, values, or lifestyle that is passed down from one generation to another. That's it. That's my definition of legacy. Now, with that definition of legacy, the question now becomes, why do we want to leave a legacy? Well, the answer is fairly simple. We leave a legacy because the future of the world depends on it. You see, everyone who is experiencing, whether they are experiencing a positive life or a negative life, that lifestyle was influenced by someone's legacy. Now, if you are experiencing a positive life right now, then you have a responsibility to pay it forward by creating a positive legacy for someone else that is behind you to follow. If you are experiencing a negative life, then you have to make some changes and some decisions to make sure that you are now in a position to create a positive legacy so that you do not create a negative one for people to follow. That is why leaving a legacy is important. The future of the world depends on it. Your children depend on it. The people in your sphere of influence depend on your legacy, whether it's positive or negative. Now that we have answered those questions, the final question now becomes, well, how do I create this legacy? And I'm going to answer this in two points. Point number one, you have to believe in something bigger than yourself. Everyone who has a legacy, their legacy was built because they believed in something that was bigger than them. All of the great people that you can think about, the legacy that they left was because they had an idea or vision of something that was bigger than them. So if you want to create a legacy, you need to attach yourself to something that is bigger than you, that is bigger than, 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 than your family, that is bigger than, than your community. Quite frankly, it has to be worldwide. That is how you begin to create a legacy. And point number two, you have to become the best example of that belief system. So for example, if you are in the spiritual community, or if you are in the you know, conscious community, or if you are one of the persons that believe in the economic advancement of, of, of people, then you have to be the best example of that system for other people to see, for other people to follow. So that is how you create a legacy. One, you have to believe in something that's bigger than you, and two, you have to be the best example of that belief system. In closing, I want to leave you with this thought. Anything that you do leaves an impact. The example that you set for others today becomes the foundation that they build their lives on tomorrow. Yeah. That, that's, that is the power of legacy. Every action that you take today has an effect. Every single action has an effect. That is the power of legacy. So what would your legacy be? What would, what, what would you want people to remember you for? I challenge you to think, think about that and start creating a legacy for you and others to follow that will eventually make this world a better place. Don't forget, we have our Godfrey workshop coming up April 30th. The registration is still going on. The link is right at the bottom of the screen. And as usual, it's in the description. So go on, log on, and register for the workshop today. It's going to be great. If you want to hear more stuff like this in detail, come on to the workshop. I promise you, you won't regret it. 
All right? This has been Monday's Moment of Fruit. Peace.